Thailand, the country of Buddhism. 95% of the population are Buddhists, and almost all men enter temples and become monks at least once in their lives. It is a very religious country, but also home to sexual minorities, especially those of transgender sexual orientation. So why are there so many LGBTQs in Thailand? In Thailand, Miss Tiffany Universe, a transgender beauty competition, has been held for more than 20 years and the competition show is broadcasted through Thai television. LGBTQ people seem to be so socially accepted to the extent that even the Thai tourism organization launched a campaign called Go Thai Be Free to attract LGBTQ tourists. Ironically, however, Thailand is a conservative country when it comes to sex. You're conservative about sex but openly accept sexual minorities? What's going on? There are many explanations for this phenomenon, but understanding Thai's social climate seems to provide the most reasonable explanation. First of all, Thai means free, so Thailand's name actually means free land. It is said that Thai people value freedom and respect the freedom of choice of others, and therefore it is easier to change sex than other countries. Secondly, Thai people, of whom 95% of the population believes in Buddhism, view LGBTQ from the perspective of karma. Living as a sexual minority is therefore thought to be the result of the person's karma and that it should be viewed and considered by others with the eyes of mercy. In all, the number of LGBTQs have increased as a result of greater societal acceptance due to this traditional Buddhist perspective towards LGBTQs, in addition to a general social atmosphere that respects freedom. In other words, because there is less discrimination against LGBTQ people, many people decide to come out and live freely as LGBTQ people. Of course, there may also be economic reasons. 